Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel and I'm now answering question number 7 from the February-March 2020 International A-Level Cambridge 9709. This is paper 1, variant 2, pure mathematics P1. Now here we have a question about radian measure and trigonometry and we're told that the diagram shows a sector AOB. So this is a sector of a circle, okay, uh, with center O and radius 6 centimeters and with angle AOB 0 0.8 radians. Okay, so we're now in radian mode. So what I'm going to do is make sure that I change my calculator to radian mode before I proceed. I know I'm going to definitely use radians in this question. So I'm going to put 2 there radian. So now I'm in radian mode. That's something you should always be careful of. Then it says the point C on OB is such that AC is perpendicular to OB. So that's marked as a right angle. It meets at a right angle. So you could say that this is also a tangent to this small sector. And there's a small sector here. Right? ODC is also a sector of a circle, it seems. The arc CD is part of a circle with center O, yeah, as, I, as I assumed. It's part of a center O where D lies on O8. Yeah. So this is another circle with a different radius, a smaller radius. It's not 6. We don't know what the radius is. But we know it has the, shares the same angle, uh, 0 0.8 radians, and this line AC seems like it's a tangent to that circle because it it's like touches at 90 degrees at C. All right, so now, all right, that's all they've given us, and they said find the area of the shaded region. Okay, so now what I'm assuming here, if you look at this question, is what I'm looking at here is I'm looking at this triangle. Okay, I'm considering the triangle. O, A, C. We know it's a right angle triangle. Okay, it's a right angle triangle. And we know the angle made. Okay, we know this angle here. Um, I also know that this length is 6 because it's the radius. So I guess we could maybe use that. I know this length here is also 6 centimeters. Okay, because it's the radius of this big circle. All right, so I'm thinking if I'm able to find, um, for example, this length here, okay, or even this length here, if I'm, if I'm able to find OC, I can then find the area of this triangle by using a half AB sine C, okay? I could even find both of these lengths and use a half times base times height, but I think it'll be easy just to find this one because... Um, that way I'll be able to um, find the area of the triangle. Now if I find the area of the triangle and take away the area of the sector, so the triangle, so we can say the area of the triangle, OAC, minus the area of the sector, which is uh, called ODC, is equal to the shaded area. So I think that's the way to go. Okay, so finding OC will also help us find the radius of this sector okay and once we found the radius of the sector uh, we can then find the area of the sector because we know the formula for that so that's the way to go find the area of the triangle so first of all the area of the triangle oac for both of these i need to find what oc is now oc as we can see is part of this right angle triangle okay this is o this is c this angle is 0 0.8 radians and this length is six centimeters hypotenuse it's a right angle triangle so we can say that um if we trying to find oc we can call the x for example we can see this is like a right angle triangle this is adjacent this is a hypotenuse so we can say cosine of the angle 0 0.8 is equal to adjacent over the hypotenuse so x is equal to six times cosine of 0 0.8 now i can leave it like that i can leave it like that and use my calculator I'll, I'll, to get me exact answer in the end um, and then round it right at the end. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'll leave it at 6 cosine 0 0.8 for now. That's the value of, that's the length of OC. Okay, so that's the length of OC we just found as 6 cosine 0 0.8. 6 times cosine of 0 0.8. So now we have enough information to answer the question. So the area of the triangle OAC is going to be a half times the two sides, which is 6 times 6 cosine of 0 0.8 times the sine of the angle between them, which is sine 0 0.8. Okay, that's the area of the triangle. 
minus the area of the sector. Now, the area of the sector is given by the formula, which is given in the formula book, half r squared theta. That is the area of a triangle, sorry, or area of a sector when we know the angle here is in radians. When it's in radians, we use this formula. So we have the angle in radians, so we can use this formula. So we can, have, we can write this as minus a half area of the sector times r squared. Now the radius of this small sector is not 6, but it's 6 cosine 0 0.8. 6 cosine 0 0.8 squared times theta, which is 0 0.8, a half r squared theta. Now that should be the shaded area that we're looking for. That should be our required area. So let's see what happens when we put this in our calculator. So you have a half times 6 times 6 cosine 0 0.8. And yes, we're on radians of the, um, times sine 0 0.8. Okay, a half A, B, sine C. Okay, and then we're going to have um, minus, let me put this over here, minus a half again, times, I'll put this in brackets, this is going to be 6 cosine 0 0.8, let me just write that clearly there, cosine 6 times cosine 0 0.8, close that bracket, close that bracket and square that, okay, um, times 0 0.8. And that gives us 2.00639. So 2.00639. So we can say that the area doesn't tell us how to round it. But as it's not mentioned, we're going to round it to 3SF. That's 2.01. 2.01. Do we have units? Yes, we do. Centimeters squared. Okay, so there's the answer to this question. All right, so it's a simple case of trying to uh, focusing on this triangle ADC. Seeing that the area required is the area of the whole triangle minus the area of the sector. And the key to finding both of those areas is to find the length OC. If you find the length OC, you can find um, the area of the sector and the area of this triangle. And that's understanding that because this is the radius of the big sector, this is 6 centimeters. With that, we can work out what this length is. And with this length, we can work out the area of both tri the triangle and the sector. Okay, so there's the answer to question number 7. Um, not that difficult really, just a bit of thinking evolved. Um, any other questions that you want to watch from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that the link will appear over here. Any questions from this topic of radian measure from P1 of the Edexcel syllabus can be found in the playlist over here. You'll also find lots of questions from um, P2 of, uh, no, in fact, it's P1, yeah, P1 of uh, the Edexcel. Uh, of course, if you if you go to my if you watch the video that will appear here, it will tell you how to access even the Excel material. And there's lots of stuff in P1 radian measure which relates to what we're doing here. They're kind of like you can use them to revise, um, you know, from either of those boards. Um, yeah, and if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, you can click on this link. Thank you for watching, and see you soon.